Hi guys, this is Rice Snow. Last time we edited our inventory system, so now some items are stackable and don't take too much inventory space anymore. And in this video, I will show you how to implement a darkness and lighting effect. We have implemented most of the essential mechanics, so I think it's about time to add some environment effects and the filters and the stuff like that. So. I'll introduce a method that I used in my Farewell 2021 video. It's so called a smooth writing system and relatively easy to implement, I believe. Alright, let's start. Okay, first we create a package. And uh, I'm gonna name this environment. Then Inside of this package, create a class. Environment Manager. And this is going to be a manager class that handles all the environment filters such as lighting, rain, fogs, etc. So this time we only add light and darkness effect, but I think having this manager class would be handy in case you want to add another environment effect later. Okay, then inside of this package, we create a, another class, writing. In this class, we use game panel and also buffered image. And I'm gonna name this darkness filter. Then constructor. So we receive game panel and integer circle size. And this circle size means uh, size of writing area. And in this constructor, first we instantiate this buffer image. Darkness filter equal new buffered image. And the size is we're gonna set screen width and the screen height. And buffer image that type int ARGB. Then Use this graphics 2D uh, attach this darkness filter to this graphics 2D. So everything this G2 draws will be recorded on this darkness filter. Okay, now we're gonna draw on this darkness filter. But before moving on, let me summarize what we're gonna do because yeah, it's a little bit complicated. So basically, we're gonna draw a screen size black rectangle as a darkness filter like this. And so black, yeah. So imagine you are in a dark cave or it's a night time. So this is what you get without a light source. Or if you don't like, you know, being totally blind, you can reduce the opacity of this filter like this. Or like this. So you can still see things even without a light source. But anyway, this is how it looks like when you have no light source but if you have a light source such as lantern or a torch we create a circle area around the player like this so now we have a black rectangle with a hole in the middle so this is the first step that we're gonna do so let's do this in java 
So we're going to create a rectangle and remove a circle part from it. And to do this kind of clipping, we use a class called area. And I'm going to name this screen area and instantiate this like this new rectangle 2d dot double and the pass 0 0 gp dot screen with gp dot screen height oops what the height import import so you can handle various shapes with this area class but this time we pass this rectangle 2d to its constructor because we want to create a rectangle and also pass x y width and the height so with this we get a screen size rectangle area and next we set the circle data. Okay, first we get the center of this circle. Center x equal gp dot player dot screen x plus gp dot tile size divided by two and the center y is gp dot player dot screen y plus gp dot tile size divided by two. Uh, so this basically means the center point of the screen, or you can simply type screen width divided by two, something like this. If your player character is always fixed at the center of the screen, then this is also fine. Okay, then we get a top left x and the top left y of this circle and we can calculate them from this center x and uh, center y and we're gonna get it as double x equal center x minus circle size divided by 2 double y equal center y minus circle size divided by 2. Uh, okay, let me add uh, some description. Okay, then create a right circle shape. So we use this shape class circle shape and create a circle object a new ellipse 2d dot double and the pass x y circle size Then using this circle shape, we create another area which has a circle shape. So area, and I'm gonna name this right area, equal new area, and we're gonna pass this circle shape to its constructor. So now we have two areas, so screen area and right area. And then, we subtract this circle area from the screen area. Okay, so screen area dot subtract and light area. So now the screen area looks like this. I mean, yeah, it looks like this. So a rectangle with a hole. So let's draw this on this darkness filter buffer image. So first choose a color, g2 that set color and 
0.95f So I chose black and alpha is 0.95f so it's slightly transparent and this time I used float for the parameters so the maximum number is 1 and you can use integer too and in that case the maximum number will be 255 so we use this fill method and draw this uh, screen area and this pose all right next we draw this buffered image so create a draw method like usual and uh, g2.draw image and the darkness filter and uh, x0, y0 observer is null. Alright, this class is okay for now, so let's work on this environment manager. Okay, so have game panel and also writing. and the constructor public environment manager game panel gp this dot gp equal gp and then create two methods public void setup and also public void draw and graphics to dg to a goofy lux 2d fix 2d okay and uh, in the setup we instantiate the lighting class so lighting equal new lighting and the path gp and uh, circle size uh, I'm gonna set 350 for now and in this draw method we call the draw method in the lighting class alright I think that's all for this class okay now open this game panel and uh, instantiate the uh, environment manager e manager or something new environment manager this is a long name class this okay and call the setup method so we can instantiate the lighting class so maybe from here e manager that setup and in this draw to temp screen method we call the draw method uh, right before the UI uh, e manager that draw. So this needs to be before UI because otherwise the UI is also covered by the darkness filter. All right, okay, let's check. Yep, so looks like this. Yeah, this looks pretty cool and might be useful as it is maybe when you want to create a spotlight effect or something. But we want to create a bit more natural, smooth writing. So next we create a gradation effect within this circle. So the center is the brightest and it gets darker as it gets closer to the edge. So that's what we're going to do next. Back to this 
lighting class. So to create the gradation effect, we use two arrays. So after subtracted the light area from the screen area. Okay. And the first array is color equal new color. And si oops, size is five. And the other one is float. And the name this fraction. Call new what float five. So you can set any size on these arrays as long as they are the same number. So basically this size determines the number of divided levels of the gradation. So increase this number makes you create more detailed gradation data. Okay, then we set a color on each level like this. Color zero equal new color. Zero, 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 zero F. And okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the zero, 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 zero point twenty five, zero point five, zero point seventy five. 0.98 yeah something like this so so all the colors are black but has a different alpha value so it's a, it's a pretty simple gradation so color 0 is completely transparent and the color 1 is slightly darker and the color 4 is almost completely black so I didn't set 1, but 0 0.98. So you can still see things even through the darkest part. Okay, next we set the fraction. So basically the distance between these colors. Fraction 0 equal 0f. Zero One, two, three, four. Zero point twenty five, zero point five, zero point seventy five, and this time one. So these numbers indicate the distance from the center of the light circle. So zero means the center, and one means the edge. So this time again. I set a pretty proportional distance. So just evenly divided the total distance. So each takes like 25% distance. And now we're gonna use these two arrays and create a paint settings. And to do that, we use a class called Radial Gradient Paint. And I'm going to name this, I don't know, G paint. The equal new radial gradient paint. And we're going to pass center X, center Y, circle size divided by two, and fraction and color. So as its parameter, we pass the center X, center Y, circle radius, fraction array, and color array. So this will create a circular gradation paint data. And we can use this as a paint setting of this graphic 2D. So G two dot set paint G paint yeah, like this and then so we're gonna fill the light area 
with this setting. And in this case, we don't use this color settings. So disable this. OK, I think we can run this program. So let's check. Yeah, mm, like this. So the color gradation has been applied to the light circle. Yeah, pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, but I felt the gradation pattern is still a bit too, kind of too even. So I tweaked these numbers and worked on it. So I'm going to show you what I came up with. First, I increased this array size to 12. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Also, I started the darkness level from 0 0.1. So uh, even at the center of the light, it's still slightly darker than normal. And then color one is 42. Like this, so. Let's check. Yeah. So yeah, can you see the difference? So this is the first one. And this is the second one. So the second version's gradation it starts at 0.4 f so there is no change in the first like 40 percent fraction so it looks like it suddenly gets darker from around here and i don't know i personally like this better but i think people have different tastes so you can you know modify these numbers and uh, find the best settings for you and uh, if you want to change the size of the lighting area so you can pass a different circle size to the constructor so for example like 500 then yeah like this hmm. but you know make sure the size is not larger than the screen width or screen height. So if you pass a number which is larger than the screen width or screen height, for example, like this, then you see these dots on the screen. So in my settings, the screen height is 576 pixels. So this is the maximum circle size for me, so five seven six is okay, but five seven seven you see these dots. So maybe you can differentiate the uh, size based on your light source, like lantern has a larger lighting area than torch or something like that. So yeah, that's how you implement a lighting effect. Actually, there are many more ways to handle lighting and this is just one of them and probably one of the simplest one. Still, it looks really cool though. And uh, I've experimented other method too, which is a uh, tile based lighting and that also works pretty good. So I hope I can introduce that one too in the future. Anyway, that's it for today. With this lighting system, we can finally create a dungeon level. Thanks for watching and until next time.